Go and check out my very own Rust server, IUK Island. Link in the description. January the 4th. It's three days till wipe day, and so with the limited time, I think it's best we get straight into this story. And this would come to be a very special one. I've been trying to be my own guiding star, but it appears it hasn't taken me very far. I've tried to be my own all in all and everything, but it's just been a hard and arduous thing. When I look back upon the life I have lived and the choices I have made, what do I see? All hell fails when I try to push my way, but when I give in. I put down my base on a hill with launchite in front of me and outpost right behind me. As I said earlier, this would not be a normal wipe. Usually you'll see me playing a wipe for almost a week straight, but this time I only had 3 days. And so I would have to move fast. I headed over to supermarket to get the green card and then I headed over to sewer branch to run that for the loot inside. With the scrap from this I was able to craft a tier 1 workbench. Then I headed out to just check out the area and farm up some stone for the base, when something caught my eye. Oh my god, what is this? Is it decaying? Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> this was a big base. After depoing the stone, I headed back to take a closer look at the base. Oh. It was clear that someone else had gotten away with all of the good stuff, but then again when you're starting out you'll take anything you can get. After stuffing my inventory with loot I made my way out. And just like that, I had more guns than I'll ever need to start this wipe. But with all this loot, it was also time to do some small upgrades to the base. After upgrading the base, I hit up a few monuments and then I farmed some sulfur. Then I headed over to Outpost to do some shopping.
I had no BPs on the server and so I really wanted to focus on getting that before anything else. Oof, let's go. After depoting in base, I saw some flashlights moving towards me. The fuck? I followed the flashlights over the hill to the decayed clan base, but then I lost them. Bro, where's the AK? Oh, fuck it. Okay. I got back my guns plus some more. After this, I got some sleep. The next morning when I woke up, I headed down into the tunnels to farm some scrap. I still had a long way to go when it came to getting BPs, and so for the next hour I just ran the close by monuments for the scrap. Meet my neighbor.
He was the one I just stole all that scrap from and evidently that made him a bit upset. He lives in a 2x2 like 20 meters from my base and I already knew he was going to be very annoying. To raid this guy today. It's gonna be way too annoying. But I had no time to deal with this now because I started hearing some AK shots down the hill and so I went to check it out. I depoted the loot and then I ran straight back. What the f This was a huge come up. Oh my god, please! <laughs> I had a lot of stone and so I started doing some upgrades to the base. Someone took Bradley and so with my MP5 I headed over to see what I could do.
somehow I managed to get out of launch site with all of the Bradley loot. Whoa, let's go! But with this I had also drawn even more attention to myself. After this, I did some farming. Using this stone, I did some upgrades to the base, like adding peak downs. Someone was calling in an airdrop at power plant. I can't believe I almost choked that, honestly. What's this guy's body? Went through the ground. Looks like. My god. <laughs> I did not think there was two of them. I started hearing some satchels close by and so I went to check it out. I didn't think they were so close to me. There's another there? Close, really? Okay, so after this what happened is a little blurry, but what I've been told is that after me killing almost all of the raiders, the base owners logged in, killed the last guy and then sealed the base. So when I came back with a new kit, the raiders were trying to get back inside.
Well, how many are there? Bro, there's like fucking, like, there's just too many. Like, what am I supposed to do? The base owners won and the raid was over now. But I headed back again to check out the Launchite base and its owner. Got back one full kit. Uh, only lost a little bunny key now. A group on the other side of Zuru Branch took down Heli. Jesus. It's time to... Oh, if I can just get the M2, I'm out. There is. And we're out. What the? Barely even looted. Why? Somehow I managed to get out of there. Oh, 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 we're out. We are out. Can't believe I survived that. No idea how actually. <laughs> he must have been full inventory. The guy that survived made it to the base. Because otherwise, why, why would he run? Like, he ran from two M2s. With this, my wipe was really starting to take off. And before I could even take a second to breathe, I started hearing some more explosions coming from the other side of Launchite. And so I went to check it out. I'm just gonna wait for them. I'm pretty sure it's the people I've been fighting earlier at their base. I'm pretty sure it's those guys raiding now. I'm pretty sure it's just two of them. Like I've only seen two. I haven't seen a single other guy. 
or it might just be two of them. And that guy might pick up everything or all the good shit and then kill himself or go. Yep. Yes, sir. didn't bring anything. I don't think they got anything. I got back the AK, I lost them, so <laughs> that's nice. I took all of the components I gathered throughout the day and I recycled them at outpost. That's a lot of scrap. With all the scrap from this, I crafted a level 3 workbench and I started going through the tech tree on that. And then, I logged off. And well, unfortunately a lot happened that night. But we'll get into all of that later. All you need to know is that I woke up raided by the Launchite group. Wow. Oh, of course. Uh, of course I wake up raided. They used so much. Yeah, this was not a sheep raid and they raided through almost every single door in my base. But my boxes were almost untouched. Wait. Where they barely touch anything. Barely took anything. Where did it come from? Oh, they come from here, okay. Took my tier 3 though. Fuck. And so it was time to rebuild. Bro, they use like 30 rockets to raid me. <laughs> like it's nuts. How much they actually used to raid me. Still have a tier 2, so... That's nice. Oh, they didn't touch this. Barely had anything here. With my base secured, I headed over to check out the people that had raided me. Go and check out their base. But I really had no idea what I was walking into. Please don't tell me they've been raided too. Please don't tell me they've been raided. I'm 90% sure they've been raided. And uh, yeah, they had gotten raided. Let me take you back to right as I logged off. The time was 4 in the morning, and so they must have raided me right after I logged off. They took all the good loot back to their base, and then they logged off too. And after that, I guess some random group came over to their base and raided them. <sighs> I so wanted to raid them. And if they raided, like... Like, I don't have any other, like, enemies on the server. So I don't know if they're, if they're gone. They were the ones that raided me. They were the ones I lost all my guns to yesterday. 
So if they're gone, like, I have no one else to fight. Or to raid or to do anything. any more loot left inside that base if they're if they're gone so like that just sucks like that sucks they raid me and then they get raided or they quit i don't know if they quit or if they've actually gotten raided How? Is he there now? Even though I died, it gave me some pretty good information I didn't have previously. They were still moving loot from the base. And so even though there was no way I would be able to get back at the group that raided me, if I could just be the one that gets most of the loot from their base, I would settle for that. I found an opening and I managed to make it into the base.
Okay, so there's still some pretty good loot left. We can still get out with some of their loot. The people that raided me. If we can get some of their loot, I'm gonna be happy. No, we came down there. Fuck. Oh my god, this tier 3 is huge. Now we don't have to farm the scrap for a new tier 3, we can just repair this one. Which is gonna cost a bit, but not nearly as much as it would to, to craft a complete new one. I checked out my door camping neighbor's base. Wait, did my neighbor get to... Oh. This guy got raided too, I think. Wait. Oh yeah, he got raided too. <laughs> well, that's that, that's nice. Annoying neighbor is gone. I guess everyone got raided yesterday. I got raided, that guy got raided, those guys got raided. Fuck me. <laughs> Yeah, so at least one good thing came out of all this. I mean, we got offline raided, but we have we basically have more now than we did then, thanks to them getting raided too. But it still sucks that they got raided. I wanted to be the one that raided them. I so wanted to be the one that raided them. Oh. Like that's just the worst thing that could happen when you try to get a revenge story out against someone else, and they get raided immediately before you even have a chance to raid them. The base kinda quieted down after this, and so I could just transfer the rest of the loot from the base in peace. Okay, now I'm definitely more loaded than, <laughs> than yesterday. Holy fuck, there was still a lot of loot inside of there. Might be worth raiding those guys. I mean, they live in that stone 2x2. Two two. Craft, like two, craft like 4 rockets. Raid them. And so... Two hours after logging in to our raided base, I was back at basically the same spot as yesterday. My area was very active at this point, and so it was time to PvP. <laughs> oh, it's these guys. <laughs> it's the people that have been fighting over the base all this time. Yep, oh, hello. No name. That's him. <laughs> Yeah, 
It's two, three. How? Bro, how many times do I have to headshot that guy? And he's full HP every single time. Oh, what the fuck? It's happening. <laughs> Oh my god, they're shooting fucking... Really? Fuck off. What? How is he not dead? I tripled you! I'm so much better than all of you. What the hell? East, idiot. East, east, full gear. East, the hell? I saw two full kids go into a stone 2x2. Two two. They live in a fucking one door loot room. They have one door to loot. Stupid fucking idiots! So dumb! Every fucking one of you. Stupid. Trying to door camp some full kits and then you just come out with the. shooting with your fucking bow. Are you dumb? I did a quick tons run. I had four satchels at base and so I grabbed them and went over to the base where I saw those full kits walk into earlier. Looked like he only had one door and I had four satchels so why not? It was worth a try. But as I was closing in on the base I saw some full kits up on the hill with rocket launchers on their back.
fuck's sake. <sighs> Luckily I stashed the M2 and I managed to get out of there with that at least. After this I took a break for a few hours and when I came back someone took Bradley. Oh he's up. What a comeback! <laughs> what did I come back to? I've been back for like five minutes and all hell breaks loose. Bro, I don't have any space. Some new people were roaming around the area. This was the same people I had killed at the launch I'd fight earlier. Those guys are online now? I thought that base was good caying. Wait, they live there. Really, Magic and his friend lives there. <laughs> That's how fun find guns every single time. 
Just throw something at the body and it's gonna roll down to where the gun went to. I'm gonna go check out that base where I saw those full kits run into earlier this day. I was gonna go... That was gonna raid earlier, but then... I got into some other shit and I never did. But I'm go now I'm gonna go and check. And see if there's, uh, it's actually one door. Or if it's more. Because if it is one door, it's gonna be loaded. Sure. I didn't have enough to finish the raid at this time, but it was still really loaded. If I can get this home, it's so worth it. Just ammo. So good. I was starting to run low on rifle ammo, that's why I'm in roaming MP5. Because I had like a box of pistol ammo. So I've just been roaming MP5 because I can't be bothered to farm the sulfur for gunpowder and to craft rifle ammo. But now, after this, we can roam AK, finally. Oh, the scrap! I wish I did it when they were online, it would have been more fun, but... I mean, good loot is the good loot, so... Doesn't really matter. I heard a big raid on an island on the edge of the map, and so I headed over to see what I could do. Oh my god. Bro, I wish... <laughs> uh, I wish I had a fucking... Oh, I wish I had a backpack. I couldn't grab all the loot. There was so much... So much sulfur and shit that I couldn't grab. I depoted everything from this as fast as possible and then I ran back. Looted.
Yeah, so after this I was loaded on basically everything. But I still had a few unfinished businesses to take care of and so I started preparing. Hey, Prophet! <laughs> Put the HP rockets back. And so much more. Oh my god. <laughs> First I went to check out Magic Space to see how expensive it would be to raid. It looked very cheap and so I crafted up a few rockets and I headed over to raid them. Everything's open. Oh, it's fucking raided. It was a really profitable raid. I moved absolutely everything back to my base. I also took this time to put a compound around my base. I crafted two C4s to finish the raid from earlier. Oh my god, I did not see this. <laughs> After moving absolutely everything from that back to my base, I went to do my last raid. The people who I had fought with at the beginning of this day. Because if anyone had any of the loot from the people that had raided me, it would be them. Winter hell, I've got candles and candles. 
I moved everything from here back to my base and then I logged off. And the next day was wipe day. And so here is where my wipe ended. My day today started out with me being offline raided, but it ended up with me having almost all of their loot. This was a really special wipe. And you know, it didn't end with me doing some big online raid or a raid defense, but honestly, I wouldn't want to change anything about this wipe. It was so much fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, join my Discord server, and make sure that you follow me over on Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and goodbye.